heard of Julian Assange? Yes. Can you expand on that a little? Oh, he's the guy that's um, putting the stuff out there onto WikiLeaks about what's going on with the government and with the wars and the, the bombings and the shootings that the government would have probably liked to have kept under the carpet. So he's that man. So, so do you think there's a, a relevant place in a democracy for, for WikiLeaks? Oh, absolutely, 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 totally. And do you think our government is doing enough to support Julian Assange? No, probably not, no, no, they're not. They could do more, could get him, free him and make him help, but then they probably have, a, you know, a friendship to keep with the states and over one guy and a, and a friendship with America, so government are probably in a tough spot but no, they could do a bit more. I, I think that's good. That would be good. One last thing. What yeah. do you think what do you think of mainstream media? Disgusting. It's all bullshit propaganda. So have you heard of Julian Assange? Yes I have. From what I've read about him on the internet and in the media. From what I've read about him on the internet and in the media. And so you've heard of WikiLeaks? Have you availed yourself of any of their documentation? Have you read any of their cables? The, uh, in regards to the Middle Eastern conflicts between Lebanon and Syria, yeah, I have. Uh, but it first came to my attention when I watched uh, a video that he looked at called Collateral, Collateral Damage. showed a US Apache helicopter firing on un unarmed uh, Iraqi reporters and journalists. Killed a few 14, 14 uh, civilians. So, do you think there's a relevant place in the world for WikiLeaks? Oh, definitely, definitely. There's, there's always two, two sides to a story, and uh, the, the story that he presents is always different to what the media portrays or the mainstream media portrays to, to the public. Uh, I'm, I'm always skeptical about what I watch in the news and what I read in the media. So, have you heard of Julian Assange? Yeah, I have. I've heard a lot about him. I've seen a documentary about him on, uh, on TV and his story, his life story actually, is quite um, impressive, I must say. Uh, someone who speaks the truth, he's very brave, very courageous, especially in the times we're living in. Uh, people who speak up, say the truth, normally are the ones who are oppressed. So for him to do what he does, I think we need more people like him. Oh, have you read any of the WikiLeaks releases? Um, to be very honest, I haven't read through the whole things. I've just uh, got a lot of my information through mainstream media and through a documentary which I've seen on, on television. Um, and from what I've seen, nobody, well, I would say governments or pe people in positions of power really don't like what he has to say because of the information he's collected and shown to the people, which is the truth. So I haven't actually read through the whole things, but I do know what he's about. Do you think there's a relevant place for WikiLeaks and other whistleblowing websites in today's world? Oh, definitely. There, there must be. Um, you know, it's everyone's right to be told the truth and to know what's going on. You know, everyone is just convinced by what we're just we're just eating what we've been fed through mainstream media, and it's not. I would say probably most of the time not always truthful, it's very biased. So definitely there is a place for it in our society for sure. Do you think the Australian government is doing enough to help Julian Assange? No, I, I think they're probably scared. Um, if they do support someone like Julian Assange, what would happen with their main allies in you know, America, UK and other Western countries? So I think they're keeping you know, they're keeping their interests close, they're keeping their cards close to their chest for, uh, for, for that reason. But yeah, they're not doing enough. Do you think that WikiLeaks will help open democracies? Um, I'm not sure. I would hope so because a democracy should be about letting people say what they want to say, basically. And Julian Assange, I think he's quite oppressed because of what he's doing. I would hope it would bring about some change, but let's see. <laughs> and the, the video of collateral murder, were you uh, shocked? How did that affect you? Yeah, I was really shocked because, uh, you know, we automatically just 
uh, accept what the media tells us that you know, a particular green zone, it was where a place where terrorists were, and then when you come to see that so many innocent people have been killed, it's it's more than shocking. I, I think it's disgusting. It's it's ridiculous. And you, you, I ask myself, okay, well, who are the real terrorists here? You know. Have you heard of Julian Assange? Yes, I did. Could you tell us what you know of him? Yeah, I like his ideas and what he's doing for public in general, and then. Um, I think Australian government is the, um, not good for him, to, doesn't help Australian citizenship. Like he's doing the good things for the public actually. So you, you believe there's a place in the world for a, a site like WikiLeaks? Yes, he's done many things for the, the sacred files, what's going on about the, um, Iraq, Afghanistan, all that things. Would you like to see our government doing more to help Julian Assange? Definitely, definitely. They should take him to Australia and they have to, they have to look after him. Do you have any faith in our mainstream media, like the, the larger newspapers and the television shows? Mm, on news? Not all of them, but some of them is good. For example, like Green Left is good, writing the truth. Some of the newspapers, like Sydney Morning Herald, some of the writers, column writers, is good. For example, Alan Tyler, Ross Keating. Have you read any of the, the uh, releases that WikiLeaks, the war logs or anything? Yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you think they um, help when it comes to fostering peace in the world? I think it's helpful for peaceful because people many more people, much more people knowing or learning what's happening then as we see the Iraq war is all bullshit then we learned and the WikiLeaks helps much more what we learned from there. Okay. Have you heard of Julian Assange? Um, yes. Can you tell me what you know of him? Um, I guess he was the founder of the website WikiLeaks um, and they just publish, um, you know, like um, classified or yeah, unclassified documents which um, other people have. So, have you heard of Julian Assange? Yes, I have. Could you tell us a bit of what you know? Um, so, I'm aware that he's one of the founders or the founder, but one of the leaders of the website WikiLeaks, and that he's currently. Um, the Ecuadorian Embassy in London um, for fear of being extradited to the United States. And WikiLeaks, do you think it's a relevant organisation for a democracy to have? Um, I think it's a highly relevant organisation. I think um, not only in terms of releasing the information that it provides, but in terms of allowing whistleblowers um, to release information in a way which protects their identity. Um, I think it's very important. So you're aware of how this is done? Um, so I'm aware that cables and other um, official documents get um, passed on to the WikiLeaks website who then release them in a controlled manner um, whilst protecting their sources. Um, do you find their mainstream media relevant today? Um, um, relevant? Um, it's difficult to say. I think that a lot of information and I think there are a lot of good journalists and good media sources but I um, often think that the mainstream media has an agenda which is not necessarily relevant to um, the majority of people in Australia or around the world and I think that it represents um, sort of elitist interests and um, so therefore I don't think it's particularly relevant I guess. Do you feel our government's doing enough to support Julian Assange? Um, I guess I feel that even if Australia did do something to support Julian Assange, that the pressure from America would mean that Australia's, any of support Australia could give would be overridden. Um, I also feel like um, in light of 
the allegations of rape made against him that I don't know that it is right to protect protect him fully. I think that certainly um, that he is being persecuted by the American government in the pursuit of him, but I think that um, he's not beyond the law and that those other charges do need to be addressed within a judicial system. On, on, on that topic, since you, you mentioned the drone and be, people being innocent people being killed, uh, a footage released by WikiLeaks where a helicopter from a helicopter, people, innocent people, including children and journalists, were shot dead in Iraq. Uh, uh, so, do you think, in that context, that the the, the release of WikiLeaks files has influenced uh, uh, the event? It definitely has intensified. I would say it it has. It, that's not the real, the, the, the sole source of influencing the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. I think that has intensified uh, the situation and the sentiments about war on terror. In Do you think the Australian government is doing enough to help Julian Assange? Well, I don't think so. Anybody is doing enough to, to, to uh, save or help Julian Assange because this guy is outcast now in the, in the uh, world stage because of uh, the fact that he's gone against American interests against the American lobbies interest and of course Australia is a big ally of America everybody knows that so I don't think so Australia is playing the neutral part I think they, they are under influence heavy influence by by Americans and the American government Australia never go Australia never never goes against American interests. They always eat. Maximum they do is just keep quiet if they have to, but they would never uh, go against what America says because simply they are heavily influenced by by American uh, policies and American interests. They they follow them. So do you, do you feel there's a definite place in the world today for WikiLeaks or sites like WikiLeaks? Definitely, so because it's got a big place. It's got a big place. Uh, everybody who is looking for the truth anywhere in the world, regardless of the religious or racial background, everybody uh, considers that WikiLeaks uh, a, a, a big blow in the history. It's a, it's definitely a big blow in the history, and it's a shock for many governments. Many governments, all the governments, and all the people, and all the. Uh, uh, you know all the people who are directly involved in those WikiLeaks. This is a blow for everybody, for them, and for their interests. And all the people, uh, again, I would say the who who are looking for the truth. Yeah. You know, fearful, you know, that he can't leave a certain place. Um, so I really feel sorry for him, and I think yeah, the world should stand up and take notice of these things. I mean, it's not like he's murdered somebody or anything like that. He's trying to really do good. So know? have you? Um, Looked at any of the releases already? Any no, I, ha I probably haven't. I, I do tend to I'll listen to the, the news and the uh, BBC news. I know. I can't understand why the Swedish government is so out to get him. I don't know. I was born in Sweden myself, so, and I just don't understand um, the American that alliance. I don't know why they want to punish him quite so much. Um, so look, I, I just sympathise with the man. Really do. You know, it must be hard being sort of. Obviously, he's with friends that are protecting him, but he's still not well, I understand. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, so do you think there is a place in, in the modern democracy for sites like WikiLeaks? Um, well, uh, yeah, I, 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 um, I, until he, the problem, I probably didn't realise it existed, but um, uh, I don't mind if they're there, if they're, you know, if they have discovered something that's wrong. But, um, I don't see him as a traitor or anything like that. He just wants to be um, everything to be open. Do you feel uh, we can trust the information that we get from the mainstream media? Oh, I think the two papers have their own political slant. So, you know, I, I always see things in the Herald, and then you'll read the Australian, and they'll have a different slant on it. So, yeah, they're, they're divided loyalties there. So, I, I, not a matter of trust. They obviously have allegiance to their mission statements, whatever their companies are. Yeah, company. but he's, uh, I heard on the TV, on even on the internet, about what he's got more information about the uh, top secret information. 
<coughs> belong to the all from South from Bush, uh, President of America, and what's the done in Iraq, wrong or right? But I know, oh, my opinion is more than 95 percent is right from this information he gave to the media. Uh, I believe. So the, the company that publishes is called WikiLeaks. Do you think they have a place in today's world? Uh, for sure they have. Yeah. You mean uh, people as they like or don't like? Or that's what's your question? Um, are they relevant? Do, is there a necessity to have uh, sites like this that get the truth out to people? Hundred percent. People need the you know the height. Uh, organization is not just the information is given by the governments. Uh, we need someone as you know talk the right things about what most of the people know in the world, and they are living under poor line. They must be. They must be. Uh, there is one supporting them like WikiLeaks. Do you think the Australian government is doing as much as it could or should? to help Julian Assange? For sure, they, they must be. They must be independent. And, and can you tell, tell me about your experiences? Have you read any of the cables, the Iraq releases? Yeah, I, yeah, I read lots of uh, information and news. Uh, he, the, the Julian told about it, and America and their groups didn't like it, but I think it's 95 percent of what he said is right. And like me, other people, people in Afghanistan and Iraq and you know in the area need this information. And they should people here in Israel and America, American people Israel, know about what the real done in Iraq, real done in Afghanistan. It's not just by media. This in the future is no good for the uh, security. Can you give us your feelings about these releases and how it has affected you? Uh, really, Iraqi people felt sorry for the freedom. This is what happened in Iraq. People was waiting uh, in uh, the America and her groups to rid of Saddam long, long time ago. But what happened in Iraq was really feel very sorry to the freedom because they killed more than what Saddam killed. The video release of WikiLeaks mm. of the helicopter shooting innocent citizens in Iraq, uh, how was it received by the Iraqi population? Oh, it's been very angry, really. Because Iraqi people saw the videotape and uh, they saw by their eyes worse than this, what happened by American troops and Blackwater Security Company. They've been killing Iraqi people as uh, really, I can't say, sheep, you know, but after more than 30 years of Saddam regime been waiting for America to give really good chance of freedom for Iraqi but the real heaven uh, they've been looking for their business just rubbering oil Iraqi oil that's what America uh, came to Iraq as business uh, tell Julian my mom and her age is in Iraq, over 30 uh, of uh, Iraq is over 80 years old. Love him because he's the truth person. Have you heard of Julian Assange? I have. Yes. Mm -hmm. And do you know about WikiLeaks? I do. And do you think it's right that Julian is in detention? Um, it's a very complicated question. I think there are probably ways of dealing with the situation that. Um, that don't require detention. Um, yeah, but the situation is, is very complicated. It's a shame that the um, that the matter of the uh, 
charges that have been laid against him haven't been able to be dealt with more swiftly and um, in Sweden with guarantees being given about extradition um, and about the death penalty uh, not being applied. Um, so why do you think he is in detention? Uh, well at the moment because he's um, been held on charges uh, relating to um, sexual offences that have been alleged to be committed in Sweden. Um, and. Uh, is being held pending uh, extradition to Sweden um, to hear those charges. And he's currently seeking asylum in um, the Ecuadorian embassy because he believes there's a risk of being further extradited onto the US where he may be um, subject to indefinite detention. Thank you. And, um, all right, do you, next question. Do you think WikiLeaks is providing a service? Of course, absolutely. Well, it's an interesting way of characterising. I mean, it's quite a revolutionary um, movement, which is you know, profoundly changing the whole nature of government and the whole way we conceive of the role of government, the role of um, you know, a bureaucracy and, uh, and the whole way in which you know, power operates globally. Um, so it's probably doing a disservice to uh, merely call it a service, but it is um, certainly it's a, it's a part of the revolution. Yeah. Um, so the service would be providing truth, would you say? That's a complicated question. Um, I don't think there's anything pure about truth. There's certainly um, changing the way the information and power flows. Um, so I don't think it's as simple as just calling it truth. It's providing information. Often having a lot of information can mean less truth because it means information is less penetrable um, and it can be less accessible to citizens who um, uh, will invariably think of themselves probably in nationalist terms before they necessarily think of themselves as members of a global um, a polity. entirely sure what more the Australian government could do um, because there's obviously a range of you know, conventions, the way these things are dealt with um, diplomatically between nation states that are important to um, continue to be observed. Yeah. So you don't think the government could step in and you know, voice their opposition and, and support their own citizen? You don't think they could do that? Um, could they support their own citizen? I, I think they're limited, they're necessarily constrained by the role they have to play as a government. I mean, um, I think I pro probably the situation could have been rendered in more generous terms, but I think there's a limit. It's, it's a bit idealistic to think that, um, that the whole situation could be resolved by acts of the Australian government because it's actually going well beyond uh, simply a, a, a dispute in that couch in those terms. in a democratic age, but that's a, there's so many terms in that question that need to be unpacked yeah. and that require a vast amount of elaboration and it's extremely complicated how that's going to work and, and the way in which WikiLeaks um, affects all of those questions is a really complicated one. It's not just simply sort of moving it in a simplistic way in, in the direction of more democracy or more um, transparency necessarily because those are very complicated questions. Have you heard of Julian Assange? Of course. Do you know about Wikileaks? Yeah, um, I've been living in Sweden for two years, so I've been uh, doing a lot of research with Julian Assange because I like uh, following what um, is going on there. So, and um, it's it's an interesting contrast in terms of how Sweden look at him as well <coughs> because of uh, the stuff that's going on there with him. But um, it's quite interesting because uh, a lot of the younger generation over there support what he's doing. But then a lot of the, um, the politicians are uh, in the same boat, kind of not taking sides to how to deal with it. So it's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, so do you think it's right that Julian is in detention? No. Okay. Not at all. Do you think our government is doing enough to support Julian? Hell no. Hell no. I mean, we've got, we got people in, in Bali on drug charges and, and on death row and whatnot in Bali, and there's more support for them. Yeah. And 
and, and our government's not even lifting a finger to, to, to help Julian, and he's an Australian citizen. And it's, it's, quite, it's quite disappointing that he has had to go and seek asylum in another country. Like, in another country. It's just, it's, yeah, it's not, um, it's not very loyal on, on, on our part. Exactly. Um, last question. Yep. Do you think government should be accountable for their actions? Uh, for their lack of actions? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, do you think that our government is doing enough to support Julian? No, I think they're doing quite the opposite, actually. Um, just with the information that he provides, just what, like the information that's exposed on WikiLeaks. Um, like with a lot of, I think, media these days and newspapers, I don't think they give us enough information about what's going on. Like they're owned partly by corporations, supported by you know, ad advertisements and. They're kind of selective in what they can, I guess, um, like just like, um, you know, what they can show. Yeah, what they can show and what they can inform people about. I think Julia San is a very smart man. Is try to go deep in mystery things happen around the world, you know. But some people doesn't like him because he's understand too much about, you know. So I like him. I like him. I want to let him go free now. But I don't know what's gonna happen to him. Do you think our government's doing enough to help Julian Assange? I don't think so. Need more help. More help. Yeah. I like this man. I like this man, but if you go against like a big country like America, you know, you cannot be in trouble for sure. Um, I, I guess I've known about it for a while. It was in the media a lot in around like 2009, 2010. But I was quite young, so I didn't really. I was quite nervous. I didn't really look at anything about it. That it's come to light a lot more in the media recently, and. So more documentaries are being made about and stuff like that. So I've learned a bit more about it. Great. All right. Um, next question. Do you think it's right that Julian is in detention? Um, well, I've heard that there are like a lot of reasons why. Like the there was some scandal in I think Sweden mm -hmm. where um, something to do with like sexual abuse and. Um, so I think that was one of the reasons like people wanted to find ways to sort of close him down so that he couldn't be like so that he couldn't have as much influence. So and I think that I, I actually saw this documentary on it and um like all the reasons why like what he was doing was illegal and there was a lot of complications with it. But mm -hmm. I don't think that it's right because I think everyone has the freedom to, you know, put up what they want on the internet and like um, say what they want, so I don't think that it's right that someone should be in detention for just doing what should be done. Thank you. And what about you? Do you think um, Julian should be in detention? Uh, it's right that he's in detention. I think from what I know about it, there's a lot of reasons for and against, mm -hmm. and I think I'm kind of really on the same side as um, my friend here. I think there's, there's really, like, you can't really... I don't think it's right to be put in detention for sharing what you like, what you know on the internet. I don't really that censorship really shouldn't be that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. Next question. Do you think WikiLeaks is providing a service? Um. Yeah, I think it is because although I think they were taken down, they were also copied onto a lot of other websites so mm -hmm. that people could still find them. Mm -hmm. And I think that it was actually revealing a lot that people didn't know. And the media often only portrays like one side of a story so that yeah. you only find out about like uh, like the Iraq war, there was a lot on that. And mm -hmm. it only portrayed the Americans in like a good light so that, but there was actually the one I read on Wikipedia, it was all about um, all the atrocities that the um, Americans had done mm -hmm. in Iraq, killing lots of innocent civilians. And I yeah. think that it's good to be able to see the two sides of the story, not just one that the media often portrays. Thank you. And do you think WikiLeaks is providing a service? Well, I'm very much in agreement. Um, I think that it's it's not necessarily. I think it is providing a service, but also. Like, I guess the things they wanted they were wanted to be kept secret for a reason, but I think it's important that the public know about that because 
the media disguises so much and they change things and as a person, I want the truth. I want to know what is happening so I can have an understanding of my world. 